The fourth in a series of legacy exhibitions hosted by Strauss and Company deals with the pairing of the works of Dorothy Kay and Mary Sibande. We started this series a couple of years ago, starting with a pairing of the work of Louis Macubella and Douglas Portway. That was followed in 2020 with a pairing of the works of Gladys Mugutlandlu and Maddie Laubscher. And last year, 2021, we looked at the works of George Pemba and Robert Hodgins. This year, we're looking at Dorothy Kay and Mary Sibande, and we call the exhibition Dream Invisible Connections. The obvious starting point, of course, was the famous depiction of Dorothy Kay's uh, uh, domestic worker called Cookie Animavata. And that fits in perfectly with many of the works of uh, um, Mary Sibande in which she plays an alter ego of a domestic worker as well. Dorothy Kay was born in Ireland in 1886 into the Elvery family. She came to South Africa in 1910 to marry a husband, Hobart Kay. He was a district surgeon in Port Elizabeth. In 1938, she painted this large-scale family, uh, family portrait of the Elvery family. She started off by including herself as an artist, holding an empty canvas, her father, also a surgeon and an accomplished musician, accompanied by her eldest sister, Edna, a famous pianist, as well as her sister, Marjorie, who was always, in Dorothy's word, uh, words, a drama queen. Marjorie also wrote the biography of, uh, of Dorothy Kay in subsequent years. She also included her sister, Beatrice, who was a famous sculptor, doing, making this particular sculpture of um, the figure Pan, as well as the bust of their oldest brother, Philip, who fought in the First World War. She also included Malcolm, her youngest uh, brother, as a young boy. He was, of course, a young man uh, at, uh, uh, in 1938 when she painted this picture, but she preferred to depict him as a young boy. And uh, the other brother, George, relegated to the background because he was a bit of the black sheep of uh, the family. Her mother turned death at the age of 25, and she is somewhat separate from the rest of uh, this particular. Uh, family. What is interesting about Dorothy Kay's work is that she references her own work in subsequent paintings, such as you can see in this large-scale uh, work called The Third Generation, obviously referring to her own children uh, in the front here. She also called, uh, calls uh, this uh, After Sergeant, the famous uh, British society portraits. And yet again, she references that large-scale work in a self-portrait that she painted many years ago. Like Dorothy Kay, Mary Subanda also deals with aspects of identity. Identity theory revolves around the post-colonial constructs of race, gender, class and religion. But this exhibition goes beyond that to what can be labelled as post-identity, which deals with aspects of politics, especially latent and overt violence, uh, highlighting pain and struggle, and also aspects of daily life, including satirical, theatrical, and even elegance, which can be seen in this work uh, titled, I Am A Lady. Mary Sibanda created an alter ego called Sophie. Um, and through this alter ego, she can dream of her past where she is able to honor her great-grandmother, her grandmother, and her mother, while also putting herself in possible futures using this alter ego. Sophie dons a range of identities, from queen to shepherd, from soldier to shopper. And as you can see, in each of these alter egos and each of these works, her eyes are always closed, suggesting, or emphasizing rather, that she is in a dreamlike state. This exhibition opens on 11th July and closes on the 12th of August, and it's held here in our Strauss & Company Johannesburg offices in Houghton.